Hello everyone, today we will be looking at a problem from Coulson and Richardson's volume 2 chemical engineering book. So we have this sample problem, uh, sodium acetate crystals, no? which is uh, uh, we will be solving right now. So as you can see, he has this solution in which you might not understand yourself. So, we will uh, try to solve it in a uh, systematic way since uh, Coulson have derived a formula for the fraction of the water evaporated inside the uh, crystallizer. So, let's start. So, I have uh, written down the given. So, we have the feed temperature at 353 we know that the operating uh, pressure of our crystallizer is at 1.33 uh, kilonewton per meter squared or kilopa which corresponds to the water uh, temperature of 290.7 but it is stated in the problem that the uh, uh, the solution has a uh, boiling point elevation of 11.5 degree Kelvin which means that the exit uh, liquor temperature is uh, the boiling point of water at 1.33 plus the BPR which is 290.7 which was to given 11.5 Kelvin which corresponds to the uh, temperature of 302.2 Kelvin so uh, we will not we will try to solve the problem without using the the uh, equation provided by Coulson we will just do a simple heat balance so uh, at first we have to account for the feed so we know that the uh, the feed uh, uh, heat of the feed will be equal to qf which is the feed multiplied by its heat capa heat capacity and the change the change in temperature of the feed, and uh, we can directly solve for that. We know that feed is zero point fifty six, and the heat capacity of the feed is uh, given at three point five kilojoule, and the delta T. We know that the delta T is at uh, three o two point two Kelvin. Uh, minus the 353 so we will uh, solve that 302 I mean uh, 353 so we will try to solve this uh, in terms of uh, positive heat quantities uh, 353k minus 302.2k so QF is equal to uh, if you calculate that you will get around 99.57 the unit will be kilojoule per second so again we have this uh, uh, heat of crystallization we will need to provide the heat in order to crystallize the uh, sodium acetate crystals into uh, its trihydrate form so again the heat of crystallization be equal to the yield multiplied by the uh, heat of crystallization we know that the heat of crystallization is given but we are not given of the crystal yield so we have this uh, shortcut formula for the yield of crystal provided by Coulson itself so y is equal to r w1 multiplied by c1 minus c2 times 1 minus e all over 1 minus c2 times r minus 1 where r here is defined as the ratio of the molecular weight of the hydrated crystal to that of the anhydrous crystal if you calculate that it is the ratio of the 
sodium acetate crystal, sodium acetate trihydrate to the sodium acetate uh, crystals only. So you will get around the 1.66. So we know that R1 here is the water initially present in the feed. The C2 will of course be the solubility of the crystal at point 1 which is our feed and at point 2 which is our product stream. And the E here is the fraction of water evaporated. So don't confuse it with the actual amount of water. It is just the fraction of the water of the feed that has been evaporated. So we can now uh, solve for this problem but first uh, the given uh, concentrate the given in the feed is the concentration of the uh, aqueous solution of the salt at 353 so it is necessary to convert it into a uh, solute per uh, solvent ratio because uh, we know that the uh, solubility is defined as the ratio of the solute to the uh, amount of solvent in mass basis of course so we have if we have a 0.4% uh, percent by mass uh, of, sol of solute in the solution we can get the solubility by doing this 0.4 assuming a basis of 1 0.4 over 1 solution minus 0.4 of uh, solute we will get 0.667 solute or uh, crystals per uh, solvent so now we are ready to express this one so let's go ahead so y is equal to 1.67 since the amount of water w1 will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.4 times what is our fit 0 0.56 times the solubility at the fit 0 0.667 minus 0 0.539 our solubility at the uh, product stream minus uh, times 1 minus E all over uh, 1 minus C2 5.539 times R minus 1 is 1.66 I'm sorry I made a mistake yeah. it's 1.66 minus 1 so if you simplify this solution you should get around uh, 0 0.1108 plus 0 0.466e so we have now expressed the crystal yield in terms of the fraction of water evaporated so if we do a heat balance uh, the heat balance in the crystallizer will be equal to the uh, heat provided by the feed plus the uh, heat of crystallization is equal to the uh, the water evaporated or let's say Q E na lang. so uh we know that the QF is uh, where's our QF? 99.57 so we go ahead and write it down 99.57 plus our QC which is um, Y multiplied by the heat of crystallization which is 144 144 is equal to uh, QE or uh, the uh, amount transferred to the water to evaporate it so this will be equal to this will be equal to the um, the fraction of water evaporated multiplied by the uh, the water originally present in the feed right so we know that the uh, 
uh, enthalpy of vaporization of water is given as 2460 write it down 2460 okay so we plug in the values plus uh, y is again this 0 0.1108 plus 0.466e 0 0.1108 plus 0.466e multiplied by 144 this will be equal to I will put it down here um, the E of course and the water in the feed 0 0.56 multiplied by multiplied by W1 with what is our W1 this is 0.56E times 1 minus 0 0.4 times 2460 so you use the shift shift salt function of your calculator or just do the uh, algebraic simplification so we will have e equal to 0 0.152 kilograms of water evaporated if we base i mean 0 0.152 fraction of water evaporated of uh, from the uh, original water in the feed so since we have e we can now get for we can now get the crystal yield here so we plug in the values y is equal to 0 0.1108 plus 0.466e 0 0.1108 plus 0 0.466 times 0 0.152 you will approximately get around 0 0.182 kilogram per second of your sodium acetate by hydrate crystal so Holson's answer is around here 0 0.183 so I think this is a uh, pretty good method of uh, solving the problem without memorizing this formula but I really recommend you to uh, memorize the formula for the crystal yield this is this is very useful for many uh, uh, crystallizing problems in unit operations this would uh, definitely uh, save you more time doing material balances so that's all for today and please subscribe for more videos